Three, two, one, go. What's up guys? So here's an easy way to pose, like if you have arms or legs or things like that. So this is essentially how I pose. I just take the shapes, you wanna block your shapes in. So I'm just gonna speed through this arm construction, but I'll do another little, another little tutorial on how I make arms because it's uh, pretty quick and pretty simple. So the first thing that you wanna do, um, you should label all these things so you know what everything is. Cylinder, so we'll just make this upper arm, shoulder, and cylinder, this is the forearm. Just put things in order. So the shoulder on top, uh, upper arm underneath, forearm, you can just long press and drag it up like this. So next, let's just use a hierarchy. So take the upper arm, long press, and connect it to that. Uh, take the forearm, connect it here, and you can take the hand and you, you can connect that to the forearm. Oops, I forgot to connect the forearm to the upper arm. It should look like steps. So essentially, if I go to the shoulder, like if I'm just moving the shoulder now, uh, if I go to my gizmo, you see that here it says group, the target. So it says group. So that's by default. So it's going to move everything. So here's a good way. So if you wanted to move it out a little bit this way, maybe a little bit like that, then you could do that. So if I move to upper arm now, it's just moving everything from the upper arm. So, and here's another thing that's important. So for the shoulder, you see where the pivot is? The pivot is right in the center. So that's gonna help there. But if I wanted to move this, you don't want that to move that way. So you want to move the pivot because the pivot is where the joint, the pivot is like a joint. So we'll move the pivot back. So we'll hit pivot and then we'll just move the pivot back. Probably about like the back middle where the elbow would be. So something like this, hit pivot again. Now we're just back to where we were. So now when we move this, it's a little more realistic. Or not realistic, you know what I mean. But you can adjust it that way. Uh, same thing with the four, same thing with the, the hand. The hand is by itself, so that's fine. But you can also move the pivot up to where the wrist is, so then it's a little it's a little better. So that's just an easy way to pose things. And if you decided you want to move just one thing, like say you just want to move this towards the back of the shoulder, just change this to vertex. Once you change your target to vertex, it's only going to target uh, this piece. So then you move that, you can go back to auto, <coughs> excuse me, and then everything is back to being how it was. So yeah, that's pretty much how I pose my characters. And you can set up everything to have connected joints legs, knees. Uh, and then once you're, once you get to this point, what I would do if you're happy with everything and you're happy with your, your shapes and everything looks like how it's supposed to look. And maybe you have a little elbow in there too. Like I might use clay and just like make like a little elbow or something. So once you get close, like, like I am to being happy with what you have. Just take everything and you can box or remesh it. Now I wouldn't do this until I had the body and I knew the pose and I was happy uh, because I would want to box or remesh like everything together, but you can do it in sections too. So you can, so we'll just do this in a section because we don't have anything else. So I would take all of these and you can join them. And here's the difference between join and remeshing. If you join them, they're still separate. They're just joined together. So you can always uh, make them separate. But if you try to do certain things, like if you want to move, it'll just move the one because they're still separate, you know? So that's the difference. So let's say we want to voxel remesh. So we go voxel and we remesh at 250. So once you remesh, then you can't, you can't go back. So they're like soldered together. So then just go ahead and smooth everything. And you just make it look real good. So then you have your arm. It looks great. Uh, if you can't really get some of the areas out, sometimes I like to flatten and then smooth again. If you still can't get it as smooth as you want, uh, that's pretty smooth. But just for example, if you want it smoother, you can box a remesh lower. Box a remesh at like 
you know, 185 or something like that. It'll make everything a little bit more malleable. So just be careful because you don't want to lose, you know, the details of like the arms and the elbows and stuff like that. So you can do that. And you can also remesh back higher if you want after that. And then if you want the other arm, if it's the same pose, you can just go here, take your hand, add, mirror, whoop. Let's move it over. Okay, so I was on the I was on the actual mirror thing. So you want to be on the actual hand. That's where you want to be. I'm gonna hit align so I can just move it perfectly that way. So you know, so then you have your you have your hands and you and you obviously the body would be in the middle or whatever. But that's just an easy an easy way to do it. Um and last but not least, once you get to this point. Uh, the hands, both of these are 78.9K, so our whole project is 157K. That's a lot for just arms. So I would go here, miss, and then I would decimate. So I decimated down. Now my project's only 19.7K, and this still looks pretty good. So I would be okay with uh, decimating. Just know that if you, go, if you decide to add more details, then you probably shouldn't have decimated because it's going to be hard to add details once the numbers are lower. Always add all your details when the numbers are high. At the very end, then you can decimate and you can sort of bring down your uh, project size. All right, keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you all in the next video. Welcome to Drawing as Meditation. I'm Dave Reed, better known as Joke Free Dave, coming from Brooklyn, New York. And today, this class is all about reconnecting with our inner artists, our inner creative selves, and just getting away from the hustle and bustle of trying to be the perfect artist and trying to be the perfect illustrator and get everything right. We want to just step back from that and just reconnect to ourselves. You can always use art to reset, to get yourself back to a place where you feel comfortable, where you feel comfort, where you can just sort of relax. As much as you can follow along with me and do what I'm doing, uh, you're going to find yourself deviating and that's actually very much encouraged. I want you to follow, you know, your mind and your creative sense. I think that that will happen naturally for most of you. So I'm going to be creating some shapes and then I'm going to be sort of editing those shapes and adding things in and just adding a little more details. And that's how I sort of flow when I'm not thinking too much. So I'm going to show you the basics of how I get started and however that develops for you is exactly what I'm looking for in this class. You are an artist and the art is inside of you. All you need to do is get out of your own way. Sometimes you just need to chill, relax, be calm and just do some drawing and do some art just for the sake of it. With that being said, let's move on to the next video class project.